Welcome to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Drunk Lesbians Watch. Drunk queer women watch. That's true. Today we have with us Allie Chan. Yay! <laughs> Allie's in the new show that we have coming out called Parallel. It's gonna be great. Check out this poster. Boom! Wow, wasn't that a cool poster? So good! Tell us a little bit about yourself. Allie. About me? Yeah. Um, I'm a spisexual. You can see me in Parallel. I. I don't know. I'm from New Jersey. I'm wearing a striped shirt. It's from the 90s. So is what we're watching. That's true. <laughs> in honor of Pride Month, we are going to be watching the coming out episodes of Ellen, which is a game-changing yeah. couple of episodes. There, I have not actually seen any of these episodes. I've seen clips. This is important. From a writer's standpoint, this episode is it fucking is groundbreaking. Game changing. But we haven't even watched it yet. That's I the know. thing. <laughs> We're already amped. Yeah. So let's read the synopsis for the puppy episode, part one. The puppy episode. This episode let's... ain't about puppies. Just Ellen the... senses a kindred spirit when she meets a gay woman who enlightens her to her own sexual identity. Confused by the startling self-discovery, Ellen seeks the guidance of a therapist and braces herself for yet another moment of truth telling her friends. Whoa. Whoa. I caught an episode in season five because surprisingly they did have another season after the puppy episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there would, it was like, I was watching the episode. I was like, I can't believe this was on the TV in TV in the nineties because the episode was about Ellen going on a date and having to like basically uh, pop her cherry with women for the first time. Like, it was about her sleeping with a woman for the first time. And I was like, I need to see that episode. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm a baby queer. It came out, like, this year, basically. <laughs> so we've got our wine. We've got Ellen. Cheers. Cheers, geez. Ellen, are you coming out or not? <laughs> yeah, Ellen, like, quit jerking us around and come out already. <laughs> what is the big deal? I've got a whole hour. <laughs> she does have a whole hour. She does. See this? I love 90s multicam. This, this writing. Is golden. I just like that she's on a date with a man right now in a like power blazer. Oh, here comes Lord Lord Hi, Look at that suit, Lord yeah. Dunn! Oh. She apparently caught a lot of black uh, backlash. She did. She was on Ellen's show to talk about that. You were punished as well. You didn't work for a year just because you were on that show. Yeah. And you're not even gay, but people thought you were gay. Yes. I mean, even, I heard straight people through this. Is this the woman that makes her question her sexuality? Cause same. I think there's like a ton of 90s lady queers who like had a feeling during Jurassic Park. I still have a feeling during Jurassic Park. It's got a little eyelash right oh, here. Look at that. Make a wish. Look okay. at that. Would you like some coffee? Make a wish, Ellen. This is so cute. I, uh, what? I'm what I, one would call a Dernosexual. So you like Laura Dern and other women, but primarily Laura Dern? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, make out. She's tight, I... I She's not into it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel with you. So there's one thing I'm feeling right now, it's comfortable. <laughs> Same. Nope, not awkward at all. Oh. Hi! Who are you talking to? <laughs> You? Can I come in? Well, did we just finish up the conversation or you want to continue it in my room? Go. Yes! Go to her room. Go to her room. Follow your dreams. Oh my god! What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Laura Duran tried to make that casual. But look how comfortable and cool she is now. You seem more relaxed than out in the hall. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Okay. You wanna make out though? Kiss, 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 kiss. I don't date men. Oh. If only that were true, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no one's saying it! That's a good for you. Of course, why wouldn't you be gay? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I thought you knew. No, didn't know. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I, I thought you were gay too. You know, it's, it's not enough for you to be gay. You know, you've got to recruit others, you know? Whoa. <laughs> Hey, I'll have to call national headquarters and tell them I lost you. <laughs> Damn, just one more and I would have gotten that toaster oven. <laughs> I'm gonna get going, but uh, no big deal, you know. It's epic. So, so good. So good! <laughs> <laughs> Dead. 
dying. This is just gonna be an episode of gay screaming. Ellen. Oh! Oh! She's a top! Because I was just so turned on, you know, from him being a man and me not being one. <laughs> Show me the money, baby. I never had this issue, but I imagine a lot of women had this moment where they were in denial. Oh, for sure. And uh, tried to convince themselves they were straight by doing this. Yeah, for a while I was like, oh, if I only date men, no one will know. <laughs> because I also like men. <laughs> Oprah! <laughs> so, Ellen, do you want to tell me what really happened between you and Richard last night? Oh, fuck. That's dark. That's dramatic. I'm sorry, Richard. This has never happened to me before. <laughs> oh! That's amazing. It's not like I'm looking for perfection, you know? I just I just want somebody special. Somebody, you know, that I, I click with. Somebody Laura Dern. Someone who has a vagina? Has there ever been anyone you felt you clicked with? And what was his name? Susan. <laughs> yes! His name was Laura yes, Dern. Yes, Alan! Look at Oprah! Oprah's like, yes, baby. Let me run something by you, uh, quickly. If you were me, and you, I mean me, <gasps> or you say something to someone, but you... Is she gonna go to the airport? <laughs> run to the airport, Helen! Run right to the airport! Is she gonna go to the airport for Susan? <laughs> so, um, you want to say something to someone, but you're afraid, and then you find out this person's getting on a plane, so you're never gonna see the person again, oh, so it seems stupid. I'm you know, gonna... not to bury your soul, so doing something is almost like doing nothing. So what do you think, should I do nothing, or should I do nothing? Hey, cool, where is Laura Dern? <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? Yes! Hi! Here. Susan. I'm gay. Whoa! This is so perfect. That's exactly what happened, though. Like, and you just broadcast it to everybody, Ellen. <laughs> I love this. It's such good writing. Oh, that's incredible. Look at them. They're so cute. Oh, we got a congratulatory hug. Oh, my God. And the applause right now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't tearing up right now. So, you want to get some coffee or something? Yeah, okay, I guess. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Was that the end of the episode? I think so. Uh, <laughs> One of the stories Ellen was telling was how like emotional she got when they rehearsed that scene. You were so comforting in that scene because, you know, saying I'm gay, uh, gay people, just uh, for you straight people out there, gay people don't just go around saying I'm gay because you don't need to for the people that know you're gay. They just, so no one says it. So. For those words to come out of my mouth for the very first time to say I'm gay, even rehearsing it, I would burst into tears every single time. And, but like, you have Laura Dern there, who's like a goddess. What I imagine also is like the most generous acting partner and like knows what's happening for you and is yeah. just like here to give. Yeah. Well, also what I like about this episode and I think why it is great for like the coming out kind of aspect of it is because like when you do that like the general response from like your loved ones is like i don't want you to encounter hardship or like hard times because you are queer and this happened and like everybody clapped and everyone was like you said that into a mic and that was weird and laura, laura Dern was like do you want to get coffee and like yeah. it's fine and like yeah. it doesn't all have to be like struggle and like tumult and whatever. Yeah. And you can just like be a well loved queer person. Yeah. Is what I appreciate about this. And everyone loves Ellen. If you don't love Ellen, you're like you're a sociopath. But um, I remember this happening because as like a little tiny like fucking queer person, like you're always monitoring like how people react to other queer people in your life. Yeah. So I was like, tell me how everybody feels about Ellen. I do wonder how many minds it did change because Media has a big role to play yeah. in, like, like the flyover states mm -hmm. who have never met a gay person then seen El somebody who they love, like yeah. Ellen. Ellen's out. your gay friend yeah. at that point in time. Yeah. That was incredible, though. Oh, my God. What is the second episode going to be? I don't know how you follow that up. I don't because either. Because it's, like, the puppy episode part two is the thing. Yeah. Is it just her and Laura Dern going on dates? I hope it's that. I hope it's bad. We'll have to wait 
to see. No! So where can they find you on the internet? I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Ali Chan. It's my name. Where are you on the internet? <laughs> at Awkward Holland on all platforms. If you want to support queer content, please donate to our Patreon, mm -hmm. link below. Um, if you don't have the money to support, that's fine. Just please feel free to share the link uh, and subscribe to the channel. Very so important. That, so that we can get 100,000 subscribers. Also check out uh, Parallel, uh, the trailer drops on Wednesday. We do these videos every week, so come back for the Drunk Queer Fun. Woo! Love you, bye.